Okay, so today we're going to be looking at my upcoming update, uh, where I've reworked all of Leonon and a whole bunch of other stuff. I'm um, just going to showcase the town real quick. I've completely changed the town's layout. And this is an actual building. Now Leonidar have their own camps. Got the fishing guild over there. There's another camp over here. And there's a whole new area to the south called Castle Leonidar. And that's all the way down here. You've got the court mage that you can buy some powerful mind magic spells from. And then you've got the commander and the lady. And the elites of House Leonidar, like the mages and the paladins, they're all spawned over here. So we're going to speed things up and I'm just going to showcase what's going to happen if we don't get involved. I'm going to speed things up by, let's say, 10. Just going to take a look. They're doing alright. They're fighting down here. Eventually, these um, camps will send out troops to fight the mountain goblins over here. This camp will send out troops to fight the uh, Snarf's camp over here. In fact, there's a bit of fighting going on there. And, uh... Uh, citizens can die, so both merchants can die. Um, this fella's already died, it looks like. Where is he? Yeah, there he is. Sir Keshar Leonidar. That's the commander's son. He's dead. Uh, Will Bogleson can die. Uh, Mar Mar Mark or what? Bart Bogleson can die. Looks like they've sent an attack over here. They've got one healer. They might be able to make it. Uh, no, probably not. Got some fighting on the north bridge here. And down south is uh, Wardskins. This is a nomadic camp, so they're not going to send huge waves after you like the other camps will. Oh, no. The mountain goblins have attacked, and I think the merchant's about to die. Yep, merchant's dead. This building's almost gone. If this goes down, this camp goes down. Oh, that's not a good sign. They were too busy down south. They might be able to win this. How many healers do they have? Just the one. A single healer's not good enough, I don't think. They might actually make it. They killed the goblin. No, the goblin chief has been paralyzed. He might make it, although the enemy spawns are significantly faster. Goblins are fast breeding and so are spiders, so their spawns are much faster. That Leonidar knight is dead. Yeah, that's unfortunate. They just got overwhelmed. Spiders have managed to break through. But Lieutenant Selenfell, she's quite strong. She's wearing the new gilded bronze armor. You can see down here in her portrait on the bottom left. These guys are probably going to launch an attack right after this. Ooh, this um, mentalist, this um, battle mage has managed to take control of two level 4 spiders. But um, they died, and yeah, now he's not going to make it. They're about to break through the southern side here. Oh, they're attacking from the north now. The fish robbers camp just launched an attack. Shun Weir is quite strong. She doesn't do a lot of damage, but she'll hold out for a while. This uh, building started to take some damage. Even this building's taken damage. Three healers. Three healers. They might actually pull it off. I found that when they get a lot of healers, they actually perform really well. But um, they just don't have the damage output. If they can hold out long enough with their healers, more troops will come. Oh, they got really lucky with all these healers. They need some DPS. No. It's too much damage in the end. Oh, if only they had a little more DPS. Oh, this camp is gone. Which means the elites also stop spawning. It's Everything is about to collapse now. Yep, there we go. That's it. It's over. Merchant's gonna die. Bart's son is about to die. Will. 
There he goes, this building goes down, and it's over. Leonon has been conquered. So this is what happens if you don't interfere as the player. It's your job as the player to beat them back and save as many citizens as you can. I would recommend going north first because this guy here, Sir Keshar Leonidar, he dies pretty quickly. But uh, let's go ahead and showcase a whole bunch of new stuff that I've updated into the game and the map itself. We're just going to play through the map. Okay, so today we will be showcasing white magic. Uh, last time I think we did mind magic. I think. Okay, you stop spazzing out like an idiot. We're gonna set him. I would recommend you play my mod with smart mages, the range tweaks, and there's another one. I don't remember what it was, but I'll uh, leave the links in descript in them. In my um, what you call it? In my mod page, I'll leave links to those uh, mods there. Uh, so we're gonna start off by summoning a wolf. Now wolves have been reworked. Um, they are glass cannons, basically. They um, have high strength, high agi highish agility, high dexterity, so they'll be able to deal uh, quite a bit of damage, but they um very low on stamina. They'll die very, very quickly. Um, the thorn shield has remained about the same. I've just buffed its duration significantly, so you don't have to keep constantly refreshing it. Uh, we're just going to target my wolf here with that. All of the auras now have a base duration of 90 seconds. This has been done so that... Hello, do you want to attack? Uh, this has been done so that... Um, one issue in the previous in the vanilla game is that if you were to... Start an aura for like to buff up your army, they only last 30 seconds and the tick rate is one second. So you'd only be able to buff 30 soldiers out of an army of 80, and it would only and you'd have to like you wouldn't be able to do multiple auras this way. Um, auras start by default at 90 second at a 90 second duration, and they go all the way up to um, two minutes, two full minutes, and the tick rate has been slowly decreases down to 500. So you can buff two units per second. This essentially makes it so that you can get probably three auras onto your whole army, and then you have to cycle back to the first one, or maybe to get two auras, and then you do some healing and summoning, uh, just to make the game a little bit more playable. Oh, we're gonna go ahead and summon another wolf. I've got two, um, ah. Thorn Shield is very, very powerful, especially since I increased the duration. So what I've done is given it a very long cooldown. It has a cooldown of 60 seconds. So it's... Oh, my wolfie is going to die. It also casts very slowly, as you can see, so my wolf actually ended up dying. I'm not paying attention. Um, so it has a cooldown of 60 seconds. So it's actually useful to have two versions of the spell active at any one given time. I gotta be careful here. I do outrun them because I'm a mage and I'm wearing robes, which means my movement speed is quite fast. I'm gonna go ahead and... Hope that I can get this off. Okay, that's fine. I can heal myself. Healing is a quick fire spell, which means it casts in almost as quickly as the warrior abilities. It casts very, very fast. At least the healing, basic healing spell. The um, greater healing takes a little bit longer because it's a more powerful healing spell. Oh, he fucking life tapped me. Okay, let's go ahead and summon a wolf and try to pay attention this time. So you can see down here on my hotbar that this spell is still on cooldown. Uh, that's I've done that with a lot of the powerful spells. I've given them very long cooldowns, so um, it's actually useful to have multiple levels of the same spell on your hotbar. One thing about the original, uh, the vanilla game, is that once you got level three, there was no reason to have level two because every spell has a recast of two seconds. Almost every spell, I think. <laughs> so there's like no point in having multiple versions. Well, in my version of the game, my mod, it is. Oftentimes valuable to have multiple levels of the spell of the same spell on your hotbar. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade my wolf here with some auras. Okay. I'm gonna go summon another wolf. And give him a thorn shield. Looks like um Ah, uh, well, Bart is dead. I uh, was too slow. Should have been a little quicker. 
I might um, tweak his location, like where he spawns. Just so he doesn't die so early on. Another thing you'll notice is... Oh, I sold them so you can't see. But you have access to all classes of heroes in um, the map Leonon. So you have, you'll have... By the time you get to Leonon, you'll have a... You'll have a warlock, you'll have a warrior, you'll have a um, mentalist, an elemental mage. And an interesting thing you might notice here, mentalist Lolan, but when we hover over Quartz, is shield bearer. Each overarching class of hero has been given a subclass, uh, multiple different subclasses. So shield bearers, like Cord, are essentially really tanky warriors. They're designed to take a lot of damage, but they have penalties to their strength and dexterity, so they can't deal a lot of damage. Uh, barbarians, for example, are offensive heavy warriors that are all about, like, big, heavy-hitting, two-handed weapons, lots of strength, but um, and um, more offensive abilities, but they lack um, tankiness. Mentalists are... We're just going to get straight into it. We're not even going to bother talking with Darius. Mentalists are largely defensive mages, so they'll all have access to Sacrifice Mana is the common spell that they all have, so they can act as mana, bar as mana, mana batteries. Uh, this Mentalist happens to also have Mana Shield. I will leave a description of what all the new subclasses of heroes are all about in the uh, forum page and in the mod page. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and buff these guys, and we're going to go north and hope that... And let's activate that aura, and now they last pretty long, so we can just go ahead and um, head on. Oh, I think he's dead. Yeah, I need to move them around. I think I'll swap this guard with him so he doesn't die so quickly. Down here you can see Sir Roderick the Lion. He doesn't fight yet, but I'll make him fight. I am ready. Forward. I'm gonna send the warrior in, and we're gonna give him a mana shield. I'm gonna go ahead and heal this guy. And if my warrior, you can see my warrior's lost all of his mana, we're going to sacrifice mana to him so the he'll start taking damage off of his shield again instead of his health. I'm going to go give him a thorn shield as well and give one of my wolves a thorn shield. My wolves will deal with that. I'm gonna send Cord up here. I think I need to refresh his mana shield soon, so... Sacrifice mana has been given a very long cooldown of 60 seconds, so you can't just spam it onto the warrior and then he infinitely has his shield up. Um, that, that would be really broken. As soon as these guys start coming in, I'm going to... Oh, he doesn't have the mana for Battle Cry. I'm going to send my guys over to fight the building so we can start working on that. Oh, for fuck's sakes. You can see the um, fast spawns of the goblins are a really big problem. I'm going to go heal my... I need to get out. Let's top up that mana shield. No, oh, you idiot. I'm gonna give him a thorn shield again. I'm gonna go after this backstabber here because she's taking too much damage. Where's the fish robber? The fish robber has been given a new spell. I lost a wolf, so we'll have to resummon. I'm 
gonna send the wolf whoops to patrol near the um Oh, I think this might... I'm gonna give a mana shield to my wolf so he doesn't die instantly. Damn it. We're gonna have to back out here. We're gonna try to focus fire on the... Damn it, I couldn't heal my wolf in time. Come on, guys, you need help. The shield bearer should hold out for a long time. He is a shield bearer, after all. We're going to try to sneak by here and heal him. We're going to top up his mana shield as well. Come on, guys, you need to squeeze through. I think he managed to kill the fish robber. He did. Ah, oh, he ma he life that goblin life tapped, and he's lost his mana shield, so he's gonna die now. That's fine. We'll have to resummon him. I'm gonna wolf. I got stunned, and I can't even escape. Let's give him a mana shield and a thorn shield. We're going to give a mana shield to Cord. Let's take the opportunity to buff them while they're busy. Okay, that's good. Let's go. Where's my wolf? There he is. Gonna summon another wolf. Give him a mana shield. On my command. Into battle we go. An enemy attack. Reinforce the defenses. On my command. Okay, perfect. Let's go. Let's see what the fish robber had on him. Oh, that's an accident. <laughs> Whoops. I'll have to fix that. So if Sir Keshar dies, he will drop the key. So we could technically go through this gate now if we want to. It'll make the quests a little funny, but um, it, it won't prevent you from completing any quests. Uh, we haven't killed Wartskin, so we can't go there yet. Do I have area healing? I thought I did. No. Let's give Cord his mana shield back. See if anybody needs healing. This guy here needs healing. We're gonna send Cord up here. Gonna give him that thorn shield. Gonna activate my auras again. Cord, what are you doing? Fight you moron. Gonna give a mana shield to my avatar just so he is protected. My wolves are still busy fighting down here. Come over here, you idiots. Damn, they're not gonna come. Gonna sacrifice mana to Cord so his shield will start taking the damage again. My wolves are busy down here. That's so annoying. You can see he's most he's lost his mana shield already, or his mana, so he's uh, taking too much damage again. I'm gonna give a thorn shield to one of my wolves. She's got hypnotize. I might be able to make good use of that. Let's 
top up the... Let's give a mana shield to my other wolf. Make sure they're both protected. I'm going to top up the thorn shield on cord. Gonna get the wolves to patrol close to the spawn point so they uh, deal with the enemies. Oh my god, these idiots. They have mana shields, so they should be okay. They're all wailing on the wolf that has um, no thorn shield. These guys might actually be able to follow the trail of enemies all the way to the camp over there. Let's give Kord his uh, mana shield back. Whoa, 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 get out to the front. I'll give him a thorn shield. My wolves also need mana shields. Gonna top up the um, boons. Heal cord and then send him out to give a mana shield to my wolf. Okay, let's send the wolves in from a distance. Gotta make sure that we. Um... Damn, why are my wolves not. There we go. Let's sacrifice mana to Cord and we'll heal him. We'll use greater healing just because he needs it. Heal my wolf over here. Okay, Snarf uh, went down. Send a wolf up here so we can uh, pick up that chest. Now that we've taken care of this, these guys should be headed over here to help us out. Yeah, they're coming. Let me go heal my wolf. Here we go. We can probably leave it to these guys. Uh, let's help him out. Make this go by quicker. Okay, we're gonna give Cord the mana shield. And one of my wolves, the other thorn shield. Give a mana shield to one of the wolves. Hello, give a mana shield to one of the wolves. Come on. Come on, girl. What the fuck is wrong with you? Let's give a mana shield to the other wolf. Oh, heal him quickly. It's a good thing healing's a quick fire spell in my mod. Did I lose a wolf? What the hell? Oh, the life tap enchantments. I need cord down here. Oh, this is not good. Give me a mana shield so I don't die. Let's get Lolan on the other side here. Keep destroying that building. I'm 
gonna give my wolf a mana shield. Give him a thorn shield as well. Summon another wolf. God. Oh, these guys are busy. They're not paying attention. That healer, if they can hold out just a little bit, I think I have to go. These guys aren't paying attention. Nope, never mind. Ooh, let's heal my wolf real quick. Okay. It's a big swarm of mount uh, far spiders here. No, my wolf. Give a mana shield to that. I better heal myself. What's hitting me? Let's top up these buffs. There's still a fight going on. At least they managed to hold them at the gate, which is good. Me and Cord will move on. Let's give a mana shield to one of my uh, wolves. There you can see the bandit chief was attacking from behind his ally because he's got a long range weapon. It's a halberd so he can hit from a distance of two. Uh, this wolf is doing nothing, so let's send him in. Give him a mana shield as well. Let's top up these buffs. Okay, let's start destroying these buildings. Let's see. Haunted poster. Orc cleaver. This crystal. Ring mill trousers. Nice. Let's send the wolf down here so we can uh, grab that chest. Now this fight is still going on. They're about to breach in the south. Oops. No, no, no. Okay, let's get the. Oh, they're putting up a decent fight over here. That healer's getting wailed on by too many um, high DPS targets. Jesus, these level four spiders are such a menace. They just summon swarms. I have seen the Leonidar mages mind control some the level 4 spiders sometimes. Roderick for some reason doesn't get involved in fighting. I need to figure out why. And wow, he's just going right through. Eh, yeah, they'll deal with him. What the hell? You're gonna get slaughtered if you go in there. Oh my god. <laughs> he's going he's gonna for castle for Castle Leonidar, he's gonna get slaughtered. 
Okay, let's give a mana shield to him and a thorn shield. Give a thorn shield to one of my wolves, and then we'll have to heal the other wolf. Okay, and then we'll top up the buffs. Let's give a mana shield to one of the wolves. Give a mana shield to the other wolf. Let's focus on the spider. No, you dumbass. Just hit the building. Wolf needs healing. Heal him quickly. Damn it, I lost the wolf. Let's give him a mana shield. Sacrifice mana to cord, and I'll heal him. gonna need a mana shield again let's go give him a mana shield and that let's give one of my wolves that Get Cord to use his war cry here. Let's use my um Where's my other wolf? There he is. Give him a mana shield. Let's keep switching between my auras so I can keep buffing people. Let's see if we can't target that big spider there. And then that one. So when the big ones die, the little ones die. Let's heal that knight over there and give him a mana shield. Oh. Oh, this is bad. Cord, I need you up here. And I need a mana shield on you. No, he went. He went away. Okay, we've managed to break through, finally. We still have our level 4 spider, mind controlled. Let's send Cord deeper in. Still have my two wolves. Let's go ahead and make sure that they have thorn shields.
It's a mountain goblin chief over there. Oh, my wolf is taking damage. Where's that mountain goblin chief? He didn't drop anything this time. Oh, let's give him a mana shield. My wolves still fighting, nice. Okay, let's give him a mana shield. Thorn shield. Yes. Might be able to get these guys to help us. No, they're already going away. Let's go mana shield on one of my wolves. Okay, let's lure him back. I might get lucky, and I might be able to get these guys to help. Guys, help. Nice. Let's give a mana shield to this guy over here. He is level 10, so he's very tough. He hits like a truck, so I'm just going to have to continuously heal him. You can see the mana shield is taking the damage. He's hitting my wolf. My wolf lost his mana shield, so he's going to start taking damage now. Let's sacrifice mana and activate war cry. Go. He healed himself up with Berserk, which sucks, but whatever. Let's give a thorn shield to the wolf. Damn it, it's not good that he's up against the fucking wall there. That sucks. We can decay some of his armor away. With the bruiser has an armor piercing weapon. So if we can get lucky. He's using durability, which means he'll take no damage. This will buy him time so he can use um, Blessing again and heal himself back up. And I guess I can just keep trying to put Thorn Shields, but they're going to keep shifting around. I was hoping the Elites would help us, but the fucking basic bitch Leonidar guards. And he's got Berserk now. <laughs> this might actually help us. Because if you can kill these stupid ass guards, we can get some of my um, actual good units. Can I hypnotize him? He's too high level, right? Yeah, no way. He's going to use Blessing again really soon. Damn bastard. At least we get healing from this guy over here. There we go. His armor is gone now. He's been demoralized by a mage. 
He's done now. It's over. I don't even think he can cast a spell if he wanted to. I shall not follow me. What brings you? The Order of Dawn said that's Branigan. Well, I. Oh, and just in case some people didn't notice. If you want to complete the quest for um, the ring, Terror from the Deep, the ring's quest, go up here to where Tiergar is, and just across from Tiergar is where Orta is now. Oh, I need to change her equipment. She looks terrible. So yeah, he's just over here. You can just cross, uh, go across the water. <laughs> 